Hello, my name is Rogers Jackson. I am the pastor of the Emmanuel Baptist Church, 8301 South Damon Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60620. And I will be sharing with you Sunday School Reflections for Sunday, July 25, 2021. The subject of the lesson is titled, Seeking Reconciliation. Seeking Reconciliation. If you have your Bible, turn with me to the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Our lesson aims, reconciliation is to change one's feelings toward someone who stands apart from you, but are now at peace with you. Secondly, identify someone with whom you need to be reconciled and brought back together again within the saving fellowship of the Lord Jesus' love. The background of this scripture. In this lesson, Christians are called to repair broken relationships by living in peace and harmony with others. We are instructed by the Apostle Paul to nurture supportive relationships that are genuine, that cares for others. Look now with me in Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The A clause of verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith. Here, the word therefore in this passage, it means now and most certainly. Being justified and set free from our sin, guilt, and shame by faith with the firm conviction of the Lord's salvation in this present season and throughout eternity. The B clause of verse 1. Let me read it again. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, being justified, being made right and righteous by faith, we have peace, we have harmony, we have tranquility, we have divine favor, and every kind of good with God, who is our creator and the author and finisher of all things, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has complete spiritual authority and power, 
to rule all things that are and all things that will be. Verse 2 of the passage. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. The eighth clause. The Lord Jesus Christ is the one by whom also we have access we have access to approach and to come near to him by faith with a firm conviction of salvation that God provides into this grace we receive the unearned kindness and joy of God wherein and through this place we stand in our fixed and appointed place and we stand in our station persisting and enduring in the work of the Lord. The B clause of verse 2. And we, you and I, rejoice with gladness in hope and expectation of the glory the praise, the honor, and holiness of God our Father. Verse 3 of the passage. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. That A clause, and not only so, on this wise and exactly, but we glory, we boast, and we brag in tribulations of troubles. We glory, we boast, and we brag in afflictions that try to break us down spiritually. The B clause of verse 3. We glory knowing that tribulation that presses us down we glory knowing that tribulations squeezes and troubles us. We glory knowing that tribulation worketh and accomplishes patience that enables us to endure and never give up. Verse 4 of the passage. And patience, experience, and experience, hope. The A clause of verse 4. And patience, the Bible says, worketh the experience of gaining genuineness in our lives. And with our experience, we have hope that gives us the calm assurance and the 
confident expectation of the eternal life that the Lord God gives us in the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 5. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. The eighth clause of verse 5. And hope of God's calm assurance of salvation. God's hope for us maketh not nor causes us to be ashamed by withdrawing from the love of God's favor and hope maketh us not ashamed of God's favor and ongoing goodness that is shed and poured out abroad and spreaded in our hearts, spreaded in our thoughts. It is spreaded in our affections by the Holy Ghost, which is God's spiritual presence which is given to us. Verse 6 of the passage. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. The eight clause. For when we, you and I, were yet without strength, not possessing any spiritual power nor physical ability, in due time, that is the Lord's suitable and profitable moment to help us, Christ Jesus, God's anointed high priest and the captain of our salvation, died for the ungodly. He died for those who lacked reverence for God. He died for those who had no respect for their neighbor. Verse 7. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet, preadventure, for a good man some would even dare to die. The A clause of verse 7. For scarcely with pain, toil, and difficulty for a righteous man who follow God's rules will one die even dare to die a natural death for that person? The B clause of verse 7. Yet, peradventure, not ever nor at any time, peradventure, not ever nor at any time for a good profitable man 
that someone would even dare having boldness to die a natural death for a righteous man. Verse 8 of the passage. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The A clause. But God, the one who is supreme in saving authority, but God, the one who is the author and finisher of all things, commendeth and caused his love to stand in place toward us. Verse 8 of the passage. Let me read it again. But God commended his love toward us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. But God, while we were yet sinners, erring and deviating from God's righteous way, Christ Jesus our priest, Christ Jesus our captain of salvation, died for us to deliver and save us from eternal judgment. Verse 9 of the passage. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. The A clause of the passage. Much more then. Being justified. Being made free from the penalty and the condemnation of sin. By his, the Lord Jesus' blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, we shall be saved. We shall be delivered. We shall be preserved from the wrath and judgment of God through him, our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 10 of the passage. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life. The A clause of verse 10. For if when we were enemies being hostile adversaries to God we were reconciled we were enemies that were reconciled enemies that were restored, enemies that were reclaimed by the death of his son, the Lord Jesus, by which we shall be saved and delivered from spiritual calamity and restored to spiritual 
the B clause of verse 10. Much more being reconciled and brought into a relationship of peace being restored in the Lord Jesus' love, we shall be saved and rescued by his life that raises us from death to new life by his saving grace. And finally, in verse 11, Scripture says, And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. And not only so, but on this wise exactly, we also joy in exuberant spiritual songs in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement of divine grace that brings us into his spiritual change throughout all the days of our lives, that the Lord Jesus might be glorified and that people might be revived in his great salvation. These are a few reflections for our Sunday, July 25, 2021 Sunday School Lesson, Seeking Reconciliation, Romans 5, verses 1 through 11. Let us pray. Great God, our Father, we come thanking you for this word through your servant. We ask now that you would allow us to be reconciled to those to whom we have stood afar from. Use us, great God, to be those that will bring peace and harmony within the fellowships of our family, the fellowships of our friends, the fellowships of those to whom we associate, and to be those who bring reconciliation into the house of the Lord. We thank you now, and we praise you for this victory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go forward, my friends, and serve the Lord. Praise be to God who gives us the victory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.